we present a chop technique for a safe in the bag fake without sculpting. The fundamentals of this technique have been described as the crease and conquer by Dr. Hong Kim Kim in 2009, October, JRCS. We have independently developed this technique with coaxial microincision cataract surgery since February 2009. Basically, this is a modified version of vertical chop. We've named it micro chop because we use micro instruments as well as micro movements to provide micro fragments and aspirate them in a reduced working area. This technique is specifically designed for coaxial microincision cataract surgery and can be performed with readily available low cost disposable instruments. The micro chopper is the standard 25G straight cystotome. After chopping, we substitute the micro chopper with a straight 23G cannula. Multiple microchops, 15 or more, are required for endonucleus dissection. In this particular case, the endonucleus is taken out of the bag for illustration purposes, but it is best to emulsify it inside the bag. Stressless separation of peripheral pieces is achieved through a combination of factors such as multiple crossing fracture planes or a hinge movement over the posterior plate or even slicing of the posterior plate. We always place the microchopper or the cannula over the fragment in order to trap it and vacuum it inside the bag. The small size of the cannula provides an improved and more protective maneuver than the big biaxial irrigators. Bevel down FACO enhances fragment rotation in the bag, avoiding high velocity fragment impact on the endothelium. Intact posterior plate protects the posterior capsule until all the microfragments are aspirated inside the bag. Intact posterior plate means less force and amplitude of chopping or fracturing maneuvers. A reduced working area in the case of a hard cataract is confronted with the microworld. Microinstruments, microchops, microfragments, microforce and microamplitude movements inside a big, safe, central, rock hard cataract crater. We have performed hundreds of Brunison cataracts and nine black cataracts without a single case of vitreous loss or significant corneal edema. This black cataract with pseudoexfoliation was emulsified in 20 seconds of total effective FACO time. 